4K is incredible. When you see it for the first time, it just blows your mind. It's, it's like nothing you've ever experienced before. And that really was the starting point for us. When we'd seen the TV and we'd seen how incredible the detail was, uh, that really became our platform for our idea. 4K is essentially the next uh, step in the evolution of uh, TV viewing experience. And it basically equates to four times the resolution of full HD. So this TV not only offers the best picture quality in terms of resolution and color, it also offers the best sound experience that you can actually have from a television today. So we set out to find three real people and give them experiences that they'd never had before. The first one is a little girl who's never experienced the ice cream truck before. There's a real nostalgia behind that idea. Uh, the second one is a guy who's never been to a big game before. He's a soccer fan, uh, but he's never had the opportunity to actually experience a really big, you know, sold out game. And the third one, believe it or not, is someone who's never been to the ocean before. Uh, so we have a 62 year old man uh, he's worked the land his whole life, he lives in Outback Australia and he's never been to the ocean before. When it came to deciding for a director who was going to help us bring this to life, we had to think really carefully and Nick Finlayson's just been incredible. He's been able to deliver some incredible scenes from these, you know, these people who aren't actors. What we're doing is we're relying on a whole bunch of real factors, you know, real people experiencing things for the very first time. The idea being that these first experiences tie really closely with the fact that we're watching something new on the 4K TV for the first time. And so the premise is fantastic, like the premise is amazing as an idea, but to actually do it is really, really hard. The production approach was really stripped back. It was not a typical commercial in terms of lots of people behind the camera. What we did was we stripped everything down to a, a sort of almost like a documentary style package. Keeping in mind that these stories were real, it's really, really important with these sorts of jobs that, you know, we've got time to travel, to meet these people, to find the locations. We weren't storyboarding, what we were doing was we were constructing scenes. So every single step along the way, the choices were made based on what was real. What's quite good about the camera is that luminance range, the greatest contrast range, so that the camera can be turned and looking into the sun and it still handles all of that texture. Once the edit starts to form, we start to get an idea of what the music needs to be. The process kind of involved um, taking a piano and then gradually adding synthetic elements at the top to kind of increase intensity. Um, but the most difficult thing in it was trying to kind of capture the emotion of the clip, get that raw energy. So it's definitely got a, a high-end crafted feel to it, but the integrity of everything is realism. These are genuine things, and I mean, there wasn't really a dry eye in the house, to be honest. Everyone that was there at that time, it was a quite a significant moment in their lives as well. And I think that's what really resonates in the film. 